The house on the hill has a strange and unusual secret. Let's find out what it is. <laughs> hey! How's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Marrow. Now, in the last episode, we worked on the gold smeltery, where we have a pot of gold to uh, smelt up the gold that we got from the quarry, and then we can ship it to other places. But it looks like you guys aren't really interested in that, so I thought, let's take a break. We'll come back to this another stage. Since it is Halloween coming up, I thought, in this episode, we should do something to do with rails and Halloween. So, let's get started. So we've come over here to an extreme hills barn where there's an outlook of a city and a really nice little area just surrounding a, a set of mountains here. And I thought we could use this in the future for something really cool. But for now, we're going to focus on this hill. Because what I thought we'd do is use Railcraft to make a ghost train in a haunted house. So the first thing I'm going to do though is I'm going to have to clear out this area because I like the idea of sticking it on a hill, you know, we sit, we sit down here somewhere, it's still a little bit of a hill, um, I think up there we're probably a bit too big, but it looks really cool from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this out a little bit and maybe build the basics of the house. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I said I'd come back when I finished building it. When I, I've actually decided what I'll do is I'll show you what I'm thinking in terms of floor layout. Uh, so I'm thinking three floors, starting with the first floor, which I've kind of mapped out already. Now, I was thinking if we move and we start in this part here, we enter into here, and this wall here would actually be to hide everything that's going on behind and hopefully make it a lot more darker in there because we want it to be scary. Uh, the player will, of course, come into here, they'll hop on a train which will head along here. Now I'm using electric rail because we want to be able to power these things without having smoke everywhere. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll head around here and you'll notice as we get around, so there's little gaps here which I'm thinking we might put some form of decoration or household stuff so it looks like it's kind of lived in but not really anymore. And also on top of that, we've got these little gaps here. Now you can see, of course, this will be a wall. This will be a wall and there's a little hole in the middle. So I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll allow enough room for each of these. So we could put some form of jump scare or automation or something in here hidden away from the normal track. Now, of course, we'll head around here. We've got the same type of thing here where it's just hidden away. Might have another little thing to show off here. Just to be a bit of interest, head around, uh, and then of course we've got a little bit extra here. I'm not entirely sure whether we use it. I might rearrange these tracks, not sure. Uh, I'm just really giving an idea. We'd head into here, and then we'd start heading into the second level. Now, what I then want to have is on the second level, we'd have something up here. Once again, very similar to the bottom layer here. At some point, I want to be able to come down and drop back into here, join back onto this track, and then of course they'll leave on this track in exiting at the same location they came in. So that's the idea. I'm not sure what material I'm going to make it out of just yet. Possibly something that gives it a little bit of, sh uh, a bit of scare, or at least a haunted house feel. Uh, so I have to play around with combinations. Oak is just my placeholder for now. The walls inside might be oak, but the outside I'm probably going to have to make something else. But I thought I'd give you an idea on what I'm thinking of doing uh, before I actually start building it up. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up at least possibly the first layer and we'll have a look and see how it looks at that point. Back in a moment. Okay, so I've built the first floor as you can see. I really like the dark oak wood for the floor. The red nether brick and bloodstone brick from Railcroft actually looks pretty good when combined with the white. By itself it looked terrible, but adding that white in has had it just gives a little bit of accent and I I really like that, although I'm not sure what those windows. I might have a bit more of a play around, maybe add the second level on and see how it looks. And I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I've moved the 
quartz to behind the windows and it actually just it's lowered the amount of white on the bill. So it doesn't look as, a, as really, really obvious now that it's all there. Uh, and you'll also, and of course, I've also added that second layer on, and you can see from that that it's, it's definitely not as bold with the red or the white. Now, of course, the last one we tested was actually at night, so let's go back to night. And you can see there that it actually looks really quite daunting, um, I suppose is the word I'm looking for, at night. I uh, might need some more detail in places, but that should work. Uh, now, well, I'm going to set this back today because the next thing I thought we'd do is over here, I was originally going to make this come up and go slowly up the hill. And I thought, I'm oh, going to, this is Railcraft. Why don't we do something that you could do in Railcraft? Uh, and I was thinking we're using. The, the track that makes things fly? Uh, what's it called? What's it called? called uh, fly? Ah, there we go. Perfect. And we'll stick that there. Put maybe that there. We'll need a, a redstone signal to power it. One of those. And maybe a cart for testing purposes. Uh, yep, that should be enough. We'll just move some of this stuff out of the way so we can do all this. Oh, and we'll need a crowbar as well. So crowbar. Like that. Just so we can hit it and configure it. Now, what we can actually do is, by default, this guy is set to 5. And he'll make the cart fly up somewhere. So if we grab our cart and we just dump it here. Push it forward. It won't work because we need to give it a redstone signal. That would be useful. Uh, we could now try this again. Look at that. And you can see we go flying, but it's not quite high enough for us to go up to level. So we can change it. So if we go into here and let's make it, I don't know, 15. Should be good enough. And we'll just dump this here. And we'll jump into this guy and go forward. Okay. So you can see that we ended up on the second floor, which would be great. Now, the only thing I want to know is, does it work with a locomotive? So if we grab ourselves a, a locomotive, uh, we will just use a creative one for now. So I'll grab it here. We'll stick this guy there and face him that way. We'll stick one of these here, join them together. And now if we jump on it, does this work? We'll just put on a slow speed. Okay, so we got up here, it was very slow, and it looks like the locomotive has confused itself, so we'll just hop out of there, take him out. Um, I'm actually wondering if we grab our self just a small amount, because I noticed that he went into the side there, so if we make it so that there's no way for them to go anywhere else, by building this up a little more, uh, and we'll also add down a control crack, uh, which would be this guy, and I think this will go, we'll probably need one here, uh, no, other way, this way. Uh, which will just give the carts a little bit of push because it obviously what's happening is this guy disconnects the locomotive from the cart. So if we push the cart this way, then hopefully we'll have enough force to jump into this. Uh, we'll go up here and we'll also add one there as well. Uh, just to make sure we push it along. And then we'll add a coupling track again. Image was a mess again. That's one of these. Uh, so we'll put down a, a coupling track, which also requires a red side signal, and we'll put it into auto couple mode, which means that any cart that comes up, the moment it hits another cart, will turn into, will join it back up. Uh, and we're just going to extend this guy around here, I think. Uh, so we'll just put 
that there, and we can get rid of that guy. So, yep. Uh, did we turn that on? We did not. So it would help if it's turned on. I should be able to sell it all a couple. So we'll just give, give this another go. One there, and one there. We'll rotate this guy around, join them together. Come into here, put them back into slow and running. Looks like we joined up. Cool. So that's a cool way of actually getting up here without having to build a uh, staircase. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some more rails and stuff into this level. Uh, possibly build up the uh, the second level, put all the rest of the walls on, and see what about doing a third level, because I've got another idea on how we can go up a level too. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've spent a bit more time on doing this. I've put the top on, and you may notice that I've picked up something, and my voice is probably a little croakier than normal, but we'll get through this. So you can see here, I've put the top piece on, and I think it actually looks very good. Of course, you can see there's a couple of lights in there just to give it a bit of an effect. And I've got an idea on what I could do with those later, but I think that's actually looking really good. And we're gonna head inside here and I jump across this piece here so we're not intersecting rail. Now, I'm hoping that if I do that, it'll make a cross. Wow, that was quite a jump. Might have to just, let's just put that down a little bit. Okay, five is as low as we can go. Okay, well that's fine. That just means we won't need this stuff because of what I'm about to do. Take all that out now. So on this side here, what I thought we'd do is to go up into this little spot here, which I marked out there. I thought we would add in a uh, elevator to these guys here. There. Now these guys here, of course, will go up, um, and they've actually changed the layout since I last used them. They used to be they look like that, uh, but now, of course, they look like like they're an actual more of an elevator type style. Uh, but if we go up this way, we'll have to go up, up this way, like this through here, and we'll go one more up like that. And I suspect we're going to have to continue in the same way. So let's send it that way. Heading towards that glass window for now. So we'll give that a try. Now, so by default, what these guys will do is they actually go down. So we put a cart under here. We'll go forward. It'll go down to the bottom, which is not really what we want. We really need to have it so it's going, it's going up. Now to do that, we just go to the top here. Uh, actually, we might put it... You can also use them as ladders too, which is quite cool. Uh, but if we go into here, we'll stick a, a redstone signal there, and you can see it change of colour. Now if we place this there, uh, we will need a... Okay, apparently we don't have enough room to do that. That's it there. Stick that that's it, we'll hop on it. And now we'll go up to the level that is selected with a red stone. So very cool. Very, very cool. So that lets us, though, get up to this level. And I think that's all we really need to do at the moment. So what I'm going to do is plan out more of a track area. Maybe put some more detail into the property. And I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I've laid out a track along here. Uh, the idea would be, of course, that this top layer is starting to crumble and there's holes in the ground all over the place. Uh, so you can see the track goes around here. We'll have some extra stuff around here. And I thought, over here, we need a way to get down again. Uh, and I thought, well, if I make it look like the track's going this way and this piece of the floor has crumbled out, normally it would have gone this way. But if we actually make it so that the, the track goes along here and the idea is it falls there, it would actually add to the experience. So, first thing I was, gonna, I was actually thinking is we'll put one of these in, uh, which I believe is a suspender. Dumping track, no. Can be suspended, there we go. So abandoned tracks can be suspended. So if we do that, that will now actually hang across the edge 
Now, if I walk across that, I'll drop instantly. You can see that I'm planning on dropping it down here, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but you can see that it will, it will drop down. If I put a cart on it, though, actually, if I put a cart there, it should be able to sit on top of it pretty nicely. Uh, and then, of course, the idea being that if we hop into here and we give it a forward momentum, it'll. Uh, it's not quite what I wanted. So we're falling a lot further. I want it to go straight down. So what we might have to do instead is let's put in one of the elevator tracks. Do I still have those on me? Elevator tracks. And we'll put one of these. Uh, with it there, yeah, uh, and then like that. I think we've got to go. Don't think you can actually run it that way. Let's put a control track in there to test this out. Uh, where's the control track? So that one of those there, and we'll put a car in. I don't think this will work the way I want it to. Yeah, see, it doesn't actually use the elevator as it should. That's fine. I believe. Can I get to that without taking it out? So we'll put that on there, and I think that'll do what we're after. So let's give it a go. Perfect, and that should drop down to there, and we can see it moving. Cool. Okay, so that's working. Now, I'm not going to put all of the other tracking, because I want it to be a bit of a free fall. Uh, so this is just helping to get us to go straight down. It's a bit of annoying that you can't... Oops. Oh, that's what I was aiming for something else there. It's a bit annoying you can't hide that. Uh, it's pretty obvious, although if it's dark enough, we currently got night vision on still, so if it's dark enough, you may not notice it. Now you can see that it's dropping all the way down here, and I'm going to put another thing in here, uh, which will look quite cool, um, and then I think I'll just have a normal climb back up. Now one of the other things I was thinking, well, I haven't actually covered it off, is, hello, are you protecting the, the entrance way? That's nice. Uh, another thing we need to cover off, of course, is how we're going to get people into these tracks. So, there are two tracks in here called Embarking and Disembarking. Uh, so, a Disembarking track, which we can put over here. So, this will be the exit of our track. Uh, and we'll get people to disembark there. And you can see that it's also redstone controlled. So, we go down here and stick a redstone signal in. And there. And then we'll also set it up so that the little red icon that's there, if I click on it, you can see it faces that way. Um, and then, of course, that's the direction it'll throw people off. Uh, well, please disembark people off. So if we're in a cart, as an example, and we do that, we get thrown out onto there. Uh, and the reverse of that, of course, is the one that will load people up, which is the embarking track which we will stick over here somewhere, maybe there and this is exactly the opposite, once again requires a red side signal to operate so we could say if you wanted to go around multiple times they could hop onto the train and we wouldn't they'd come back around here but they wouldn't hop off uh, so this one here of course we can hit it with a crowbar and it says how close do you have to be when a train's going past for you to be picked up so let's leave it at, well let's put it at 3 we're going to have a nice little collection of mobs now. So what this will do, and we'll stick a control track down. Do I have one of those here somewhere? No, nope. I think I have a control track on me. I do not. Okay, I'll have a control. Um, let's go. I've got a control track there and there. Of course, this will also pick up mobs, so you guys need to get out of the way. Oi! No. You just go over there. Same with you. Right, so what we'll do is we'll stick this guy here. It'll push it that way. And because I'm within distance, it'll pick me up. We'll just take that out again. So that does that. Now, the other thing I don't want is people to be able to walk in and out of here. Uh, so let's use another track from here called the Gated Track. Uh, which is this one, and what we could do with that one, it works like a gate, you can see it's just got the standard gates on it, but it will open and close on a redstone signal. So we can stick it here, I can't walk through it, but a cart should be able to get through, so let's just test this out as well. 
So I can't get it through because it, it automatically opens. And as I said, if you use a red so signal, it'll open and close it automatically as well. It, it's not quite what I wanted to happen. Uh, how do I get rid of it? Yeah. Uh, where'd that go? Put the gated track back there. Make sure it's closed. Be nice if you could just have a gated track without it, without having to have it open at all. So there's no way of getting into here without hopping on the train. And we're going to do the same on this side just to protect it so that people can't uh, so people can't see what's in there ahead of time. So you'd basically come into here. Uh, we're going to, have to raise that, of course. Uh, but they come into here and it would stop people being able to have a looky loo as to what's going on. And I'm going to take these out because I've got one last thing I want to do, which is making sure that we're only putting one way, tra we're only going one direction. Uh, so one way, is it? Way? One way track, cool. So we'll put that onto there and that will ensure that the charts, which once again is only possible where it only runs a reso signal and it would ensure that trains can't go the other way so if we stick this here and hop into it and push it this way it just won't let us go any further than that and we try again uh, so that will mean of course that our entrance we can't go the wrong way along the track now I'm gonna put some of that there and I will put another one over here as well so once you're in here there's no way of getting out you will be stuck in this ride Okay, so we've got the house and the basic rail setup done. I am sounding a bit worse every time you hear me, so I probably I'm just going to end the episode here. If you've got if you've got any ideas for what we could do as jump scares or making the the house more interesting to ride, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you think we should do. I do have some ideas, and we'll cover those off in the next episode, which should be, if I'm timing this correctly, the Halloween episode. And it will download so that you guys can actually ride this thing yourself. But for now, I'm going to end the episode here. If you enjoyed this episode, got a question, comment, suggestions, any of that type of stuff, leave a comment down below. If you do the channel and like rails, such as ghost train, haunted houses, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But otherwise, have a great day, and see ya!